Hey guys, so I've been thinking a lot. Ow, that hurt. Hey guys, so I've been thinking a lot about fear recently. For obvious reasons, uh, but not that kind of fear. Uh, I've been thinking about the fear of the Lord. David says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. He says, let all the earth fear the Lord. And even though I technically know that that's a reverence, you can see throughout scripture that when people met with God and met with angels, it was real fear. Uh, and so I'm just thinking in my heart, what, why, what are the benefits? What? <laughs> hey, I'm all about me. Um, and really what I've kind of come to is fearing God actually makes the stress of other things way less. I mean, think about it. So we serve the God of the universe, the creator, the most holy, just, mighty, powerful, loving God. We serve that God and we do not deserve the grace that he gave us, right? He sent Jesus to die on the cross and rise again for our sins to give us new life. We didn't deserve that, but he loved us that much. So we come to him fearfully because of our depravity. We fall face down and then he lifts us up and says, do not be afraid. He brings us into relationship with him. And so he has then saved us from the ultimate tragedy, from se which is separation from him. And so when you think about that and you think that you have encountered God in this crazy, crazy way, uh, and he has lifted you up and said, do not be afraid. When it comes to the stuff that we're currently facing, unemployment, we're facing death, we're facing sickness, we're facing isolation, all of this kind of stuff, which is real. And we can acknowledge that and we can work through that and process that as a church community. But we don't need to fear that. We can use our wisdom, the knowledge that we have, and apply it to actions that keep us as safe as possible and keep us employed and help us find new jobs. We can use all of that wisdom and we definitely should. But we have feared the greatest thing and he has lifted us up and he is going to carry us through this difficult time. And so I just want to encourage you to have a healthy fear of the Lord that gives you freedom to look straight in the face of all this junk that we are going through and have peace. Uh, Philippians 4, that peace that transcends all understanding. That's what I've been thinking about this whole time, just <laughs> like wrestling through the anxiety that comes up. I just want to encourage you to have peace because our God has lifted us up. Our God has strengthened us. Uh, Romans 8, uh, nothing in all creation can separate us from his love. We have that peace. We have that joy and we have that comfort. So Hopefully that was uh, not me just mumbling randomly. Have a good day, guys.